Okay, in this next step I'm going to show you how to trace around an imported or placed image, bitmap image, with the pen tool. Um, now I've done some work on this already. Over here on the right hand side we have our layer palette which we're familiar with from Photoshop. Um, and on the bottom layer I have my placed image, my bitmap image. It hasn't been traced yet. It's still um, got it's still made of pixels, as you can see. Um, what I do before I use the pen tool, as a rule, is to create a new blank layer. And that's uh, down here on the bottom right, at the bottom of the layer palette. There's a little plus sign in the square. If I click on that, you can see that it's made a blank layer. And you'll notice that any lines I draw on that layer will be green. Now, I'm going to skip ahead. I've already prepared one earlier. And I'm going to turn the eye off of the background. And you can see that I've made a start with my pen tool tracing around this object. So I just turn that off and on. And on layer two, um, you can see, or you will see in a moment, that every line I make will have, see the path is in red. So if I click on that, uh, that path is in red. Anything on that layer will be red. So if I click on that one, it's a red path. So as you can see, I've gone around the, traced around the shapes. I shouldn't use the word trace. Um, I've... Uh, use the pen tool to create a path around most of the shapes. Now I did the major contour first, as you can see, um, and then I added these paths for the bits and pieces. So I'll just demonstrate, and the area I'll demonstrate on is this particular area here. So I just have to make sure I'm working on the right layer, so layer 2 is active over here on the right. And then I use the right tool, which is the pen tool, just a straight up pen tool. Here it is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can do it accurately. And that's just control plus. And move this down. Now, this is important. Over here, we've got our strokes and fills. The, um, the black square with another little black square inside it is the stroke and this is the fill. You can see I'm asking it to make a black stroke that follows the path I'm making and no fill. So I've pressed on that. So if I wanted to make it no um, line, I would do it like that. So all I end up with is a red path. But I chose to do it as a black line with no fill. That'll become obvious now. So I'm going to start down here in this little tight part here, and I'm just going to click a single time, and that creates what's known as an anchor. Now you can see I haven't, um, I've taken the left click off. It's just um, showing me what a straight line would look like if I moved it to there. I reckon I can pull that curve in one go. So I'm going to go up to here, left click, but this time I'm going to hold the left click down. And I'm going to drag, and I'm going to pull that curve. Um, the further I pull it, uh, the, the curve will get fuller down the bottom of the path. That's not too bad. Now, you can see that it wants to go around there. But when I start a new this curve here, I have to come back here to that anchor point hold down Alt and left click. And that gets rid of that handle there, so that now I can go around to about there, left click and hold down and drag that curve in. Um, same with this, so I come back to that anchor point, hold down Alt and left click. And I reckon I could do all the way to there, left click and hold down and drag that curve in, come back to there, Alt, 
left click, get rid of that handle. This is almost a straight line, not quite. So we'll put a bit of a curve in it. Again, Alt, left click on that anchor point. This one here again is almost a straight line, but we'll put a little bit of curve in it. Alt, left click, go around the corner to here. Pull that curve. Alt, left click, all the way down to here. Pull that curve. Alt, left click. Now, we're going to go back to that anchor point, but again, we hold down the left click and drag and put that little curve in there. And there's another piece of the path that I need to complete this object. So to see it, I just turn off the visibility of that background layer and you can see the new path for that particular shape. Okay, um, I would then continue with, by selecting another shape and tracing or creating a path for that area there. Um, Okay, that's the way you use the pen tool to um, create a path that can be then used to fill. I can fill it with any color, etc., uh, etc. Et I'll show you that in the next installment.